YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and I try and this tutorial and try you can easily process your raw files within Photoshop and right now we are using camera raw filter embedded within Photoshop and this is for people that want to understand how I did the color grading of this very image in Photoshop and if I truly want to check out the behind the scenes for this shoot simply check the recent videos on this channel and you can simply check the behind the scenes or how I shot these images to understand how I set up the lighting so you can see this is the image that we're going to be achieve, achieving at the end of this tutorial and this is the before and after before after so in order to achieve such a look for your images if I told you want to mimic or have the same look we are simply going to come and reset this so if at all you want color grade better always shoot in raw so in order to open up the image or a raw file within Photoshop simply drag and drop it into Photoshop and that raw file is going to automatically open up the camera raw filter within Photoshop and this is the image that I took and let me just go briefly through the settings I saw 160 and I shot it using a Tamron 70-200mm lens and I shot it at f 5.6 because I wanted the details to be gotten within the face and the shutter speed was 1 out of 320th of a second and you can see this is the before so let me just come and reset everything so that we can learn and understand so as I was shooting this image the sun was on and off and it was coming and distracting my shooting process for those that have watched the behind the scenes and this image was a little bit overexposed but the advantage of shooting in RAW if at all you don't blow out the details you can always recover the information within the image so first of all I'll correct the lighting and contrast issues within this image and I'll simply come to the basic panel within the camera filter and I'll simply take down the exposure of this very photo because it was slightly overexposed I think that is okay and I'll take down the highlights and I'll do the same for the whites and you can see right now the image looks better with a better exposure so I'll just come and add contrast to the image around 9 is okay now I want the image to look like the picture profile in which I showed this image so I'll just come to the profile and change it to landscape because I showed this image in a picture style known as landscape and after doing that I'm just going to come to the temperature and slightly warm it up because I prefer warm files and this is okay and I'll just come and in take in the blacks just like that and open up the shadows slightly and this is corrected regarding lighting and contrast so after doing that I'll just go straight down to my color mixer within the camera filter and under color mixer we have hue, saturation and luminance so basically luminance is the brightness levels of a given color, the brightness or darkness of a given color. Saturation is the intensity of a given color. And how hue works basically, it changes a color regarding the color below it or on top of it regarding this color adjustments here. So you can see when you come to the greens and we change the greens by taking the slider towards the left hand side, we'll be making the greens look like a color on top of it which is the, the yellows. And taking the green slider towards the right hand side, we are making the greens like the color below it which is the aqua. So that is basically how the hue and saturation panel works within the camera raw filter. So after doing that, we are just going to proceed with this tutorial. So what I did basically, I, I took the hues of the greens towards the aquas and I did the yellows. I pushed the yellows towards the greens just like that. And this makes the greens overly saturated. And I'll just come the saturation and simply take out the saturation of the greens just like that. And do the same for the yellow slightly to make the subject blend with the background better. And make it pop out of the background. And after doing that, I'm just going to come to my hues. And I'll make the reds towards the oranges just like that. And I'll hue the oranges towards the, the yellows to get a better looking skin tone. So I think that is okay. Then where the magic is going to take place, it's going to take place in the luminous because we want to add more contrast to a skin tone. So I'll just come the oranges and darken. Remember I said luminous is the brightness levels of a given color. So I'll simply darken the skin tone by taking down the oranges to get more contrast within the skin tone. So after doing that, I'll just come to my 
color grading panel and with this i'll simply come to the midtones and you can see how this panel works you can add a given color in a given area of the image so by simply rotating this to whatever color that you want so i just i just want to add a tiny bit of the oranges to my skin tones so just add a tiny bit of the orange color to the skin tone so the closer it is to the edges the more concentrated the color will be and the closer it is to a center the less concentrated that color is going to be in the image so i'll add the oranges like i've said then i'll simply come the shadows and simply add a little bit of cooling to the image to cool it down by adding a tiny bit of a bluish filter just like that and that is going to cool down the image so i want the image to pop better i'll simply come to the calibration and i'll simply come to the blue primary and take up the saturation just a tiny bit around six is okay and this is the before after before after and if at all you feel like the image is a little bit warm for your liking you can simply come back to the basic adjustments right here and you can play around with the temperature slider so i'll just come and simply cool down the image slightly to around 5300 and you can even add a tiny bit of the greens towards the tint and this is basically the before after before after before and after and if i thought it is too much still within the skin tone you can simply come back to the color mixer tool and come to the saturation and reduce the saturation of the oranges in your image to have it looking better and this is the image before after before after so this is basically how you can easily color grade your images using the camera raw filter and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography thank you for watching and seeing yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating